I've been feeling like really incredibly empty lately because I'm thinking about, you know, things from my, the past and then I started thinking about Riddle, which a lot of you were like, oh, please, not this again. But it's true because, um, you know, like, the new guy when we were talking, he said, you know, I want to take you away somewhere far away and then you're going to do something about your dog. And then I feel like that made me feel like um, somebody just ripped a whole piece out of me because he's just talking, this guy, and um, nobody understands, I, even my own mother understands my relationship with my dog. Because when I was um, first diagnosed with IBS, I didn't really want to leave my house. And the more I didn't leave my house, I got to spend more time with my dog, Sammy, who was sleeping because, you know, because um, when we were outside, I didn't want his feet to burn. So we ran all the way down uh, the street so he can go number two, which is like half a mile down the street, I think. Anyway, um, then we had to run home because my stomach was bothering me and uh, we saw a dog come on down the street so I had to like cut in between houses to go walk down the lake here and then come home that way. But anyway, so I feel like nobody really understands how much I love Sammy. He's not a dog to me. I raised him to be like a human. Literally, um, when he was little, my mom used to freak out and she, um, she would yell at him, you know, don't put your paws on the counter. Now, if you go on my Instagram, there's pictures of him. He, when he jumps on the counter, puts his paws over on top of the, of the counter so they're not touching the cabinets. Sure, now he, I wanted to do a sentimental video when he's barking. Um... So, for a total stranger to say, you know, to say something nice and take me away, and and um, and just like feel like he doesn't know like the rest of me and my relationship with Sammy, um, it just tore like a whole uh part, whole part of me from my stomach to my heart, and like tore it out. And uh, I've just been feeling really weird lately and kind of empty. Um, and then my mom's like, you know, can't let your relationship with Sh Sammy ruin your whole life. And like, that's what I mean, she doesn't really understand. Um, if I even go away for Sammy for a day, Sammy feels like, uh, acts like he has a heart attack because he can't live without me and I get panic attacks and I start to really worry about Sammy that's how much we love each other like when I get sick Sammy throws up and then when Sammy gets sick I feel nauseous all day we have this like weird weird bond and uh, the only one who ever understood that or realized that was Virgil because you know um we like, um, we par partially raised him together, you know, um, basically he, wa he was part, he was Sammy's dog dad, but then he took off permanently and then that was the end of that, but, so I feel like, um, I'm ca I kind of feel detached from the rest of the world because, I don't know, like I was saying about t technology, I don't like how people rely on it so much that they don't want to interact with anybody. And I've been feeling empty because I feel like um, um, people keep telling me things and they, you know, like, my mom, she doesn't understand relationship with Sammy and no one like they want me and nobody else and it's like hello 
My son's in the next room taking a nap, but no one will include him and, you know, my son, a.k.a. Sammy. My, my fur baby, see? It's now getting weirded out over something. No, it's just, whatever. <laughs> but, um, so I, I feel empty because the only one that ever understood me and Sammy was Riddle. And, um, I tried to reach out to him, I guess, just, I guess there's just wanted to be friends, but not Facebook friends because I want, I thought it, I was trying to forgive, but I was terrified if I added him, that I have to see who he is dating and that would just make me feel more empty, you know, because I, I just, I did, I did love him a lot, but anyway, um, I guess I just want, like, right now, a friend who understands my, uh, dynamics with Sammy, and, you know, just kind of grow with each other, I don't know if that makes sense, because, um, that's how what happened with me and Riddle. I mean, we kind of like, um, we grew together and then he broke up with me and we got back together. On and off, on and off. <laughs> well, we were still together for, like, we could have split a few times now, is it? But we always came back to each other. And, you know, um, I just, um, I miss that. Well, I mean, not the breaking up and not going back to each other. It's just always going back to the same person that makes you feel good about yourself and knows your di dynamic. And uh, when people, even my mom, who says you can't let your dog control you, it's not about control, it's about loving some someone so much, like Sammy, that being away from them uh, hurts. And um, I don't think she understands that. I don't think anyone understands when you love somebody so much, being away from them for even um, a few hours. It's like, uh, it's like somebody ripped a piece of you, like an organ out, and now you have to walk around with the missing organ. You don't know how long you're going to live. <laughs> That's how much I love this dog. I mean, my son. That's how much I love him. And that's what I always picture love would be. Now, friends, you want to go out, you get a, get a breather, but after a while, you uh, start to feel like uh, you want to go be with them because it hurts inside. That's what I thought being in love with uh, Riddle was like, you know, because, um, you know, again, I loved him. <laughs> I have to look up when I say that because uh, looking at myself in this camera and then saying it and then realizing that um, there's nobody uh, when I try to start over and and then it makes me feel uncomfortable and empty. I kind of wish I had. Well, I, I wish Riddle would, you know, contact me. Because <laughs> uh, I miss that. Even if we were just friends, I just miss talking to someone who understands me when the rest of the world doesn't, you know. So, um, where they try to and, and they don't, and then I look around and after smashing my phone for being frustrated or whatever, um, I don't have a phone and I feel so happy and because I don't have to live my life through a cell phone. And then... 
going downstairs and being with my family and they're all on their cell phones and it, and it just kind of makes me feel like, oh my god, what is the world coming to when you can't sit down at the dinner table with your family because they're all on their cell phones? You know, and it, and that makes me feel more empty here. You know, because you're talking to somebody and you feel like nobody's listening and it makes you feel like you don't, you don't exist because you're not, unless you text them, you know? It's hard to explain if you're not really, you don't understand that feeling of just dissing, just, just, yeah, desisting yourself from phones and social media and stuff. And then you realize how dead everybody else is detached to it. And then it's like, I think it would make you feel like empty too if you realize. Oh look, there's a beautiful day outside, but everybody is inside watching Netflix, <laughs> you know. Um, or there's a beautiful day outside, it's beach day, and everybody's inside on their phones and, and computers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go out. Why do you have to be on your cell phone doing, uh, taking pictures of what you eat or something like that? Go out, enjoy life, you know. But, fortunately, there's, there are days where I'm like, All right, I'm going to get out, I'm going to go to the mall, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to go out, go for a walk, and then, boom, IBS flare up, and I'm inside all day. <laughs> so, but I'm not on my cell phone when I do it, I'm kind of like, just, you know, I'm in the bathroom, out of the bathroom, in the bathroom, out of the bathroom. And by the sixth or seventh time, I'm taking a nap on the couch. <laughs> Ugh, this is a real bug. <sighs> so, um, you know, those are the things that I think about. Sorry, I'm not going to the bathroom. I saw this as, um, so a spider in the wall. I'm gonna kill it. See? Even baby spiders, I don't know if you can see it, it's like the little dot scrolling up my wall. Even baby spiders make me want to scream. Because I think some of them are poisonous. Oh fuck, now I can't reach it. See, the riddle would come in handy because he's taller than me and he would probably jump on my counter to go into the spider. <sighs> anyway, um. I guess it's just like, um, I feel empty because nobody understands me fully because so much I love my dog and I figured the way I love Sammy is, is what love should feel like, but, um, with Riddle, um, he has too many hang-ups about the past and he wants to make everybody else happy so when somebody said that he should ditch me because um you know he was bored and they wanted him to that's what he did so i kind of that hurt like a motherfucker to be honest with you when you left it didn't hit me till like three months later and then i was starting to like texting him drunk texting him <laughs> I was a mess, and then when I came here, it really hit me that he was never coming back, like, again, and, and I was doing this thing, and I was like, I'm going to get back to writing, you know, let me, um, let me do this thing uh, where I write down what's the uh, top one that's going to make me drunk enough to write something good. You know, but I lost count after um, the eighth one that I tried, and you know, over the course of a few months. And by the time I was strong texting, uh, I, uh, I think I told Bruno that I'm sharing the car now with mom. I just felt like he was never gonna text me again, and sure enough, he didn't. So. 
So now I only touch one on a holiday. We you start it and really I hit like a only have two drinks and they're like um it's like drinking a shake but it had rum in it and that was a no no for me. Um and then you know I didn't it was rare that I ever touched a glass of wine anywhere after that. So I, the last time I drank wine, it was Christmas, 2018, and I haven't touched a glass of wine before that for like, I don't know, uh, seven months before Christmas, so I've been pretty good with that. So, because I don't want to sound like, um, really horrible, you know, um, so yeah. No, I'm doing a lot, a lot better. I know what I want to do. I'm going to kick ass and take names. Um, I'm going to start doing writing after I finish this video. Um, I just been feeling really empty. Like I said, uh, I wish just at least one person knew my diet, knew how I felt about my dog Sammy, and uh. And then I can grow as that person, but not. I don't want that person to make me feel uncomfortable and say nice things. I mean, nice things are great, but I want to like, I want to know about that person. Like, I'm gonna start out, uh, off as good friends and then go from there. But I feel like that's just not gonna happen. And, like. Because I feel like nobody really understands me and nobody wants to. I just want to, I don't know, do whatever and that's why I feel empty. I mean, you know, ever get that, that feeling that you feel so empty? It makes you sick to your stomach. I feel like that. Alright, I'm going to get going. Uh, you know you love me. Bye.